Hi everyone, it's Danielle with North Lawn Flower Farm. Today I want to share with you five tips to attract more birds to your garden. And if you're anything like me, you enjoy watching, listening, and caring for the birds just as much as you enjoy gardening. As an organic flower farmer, I don't know what I would do without the help of my winged friends. They patrol my garden 24 seven, looking and preying on garden pests of all kinds, often discovering the pests for me before they even become a problem. And of course, I love having them around just for the sheer joy of watching them and listening to their beautiful and calming songs. So let me share the five things we can do to bring more of our bird friends into the garden. Tip number one is to provide shelter. Birds need shelter from the elements, protection from predators, and a safe place to build their nests and raise their young. Shelter can come in both the form of trees, shrubs, or man-made houses. I like to have all different varieties of houses around our property. Some birds have specific requirements for the size of the entrance hole or height of a house. So I try to offer as many options as possible. Some of the houses are on posts, some are attached to trees, and a few are even attached to our porch. It's always amazing to watch new life be born right above our heads each spring as we enjoy our morning coffee. It's also a great idea to plant some tall native trees that are suited to your area and land. For me here in 6B, that means planting oak, hickory, and beech. Now, if your yard is not suited for tall trees, try planting some smaller trees such as serviceberry, redbud, native dogwood, and birch. If possible, add conifers to the landscape to provide shelter during storms. If your yard is not suited to large evergreens, another idea that I enjoy doing each year is rescuing discarded Christmas trees and placing them around our property to give the birds additional shelter from the winter elements. It's also beneficial to plant a lot of native shrubs in groups, therefore creating a woodland setting. Dense shrubbery will offer nesting sites and protection from predators. Try to think about adding shrubs in varying heights to create different layers of vegetation. Tip number two is to provide food. Adult birds need a variety of foods, including insects, worms, berries, and seeds. And their babies need protein from these sources in order to survive and thrive. The more food sources you can offer, the more birds you will attract. Once again, choose native plants as they provide the diversity of native insects that baby birds need to survive. In my garden, I have sunflowers, coneflowers, rubecchias, asters, dogwood trees, holly, winterberry, serviceberry, and more for the birds to enjoy. As I shared earlier, the type of plants and trees that your birds need and prefer vary from one part of the country to another. So check a reputable website like the National Audubon Society for a list of plants and trees that are right for your particular zone. You can also offer food at bird feeders and watch them enjoy the seeds close up from a window inside. If you are offering additional food in a bird feeder, be sure to keep them clean. Tip number three is don't clean up your garden in the fall. Instead, wait until the spring. Even though it's tempting to rake up leaves and cut back perennials and shrubs in the fall, it's much better for the birds to let things be over the winter. So let leaf litter accumulate and save the cleanup for spring. Many birds find their food by scratching on the ground for bugs and other critters. Additionally, if you have an area that can get a little wild, try letting some grassy areas grow into meadows to provide a good home for insects for the birds to then feast upon. Tip number four is to provide clean water. Birds need water both for drinking, bathing, and cooling. You can provide water in the form of a bird bath or a pond. If mosquitoes are an issue, keep the water moving. Adding a bird bath was really the key in attracting different varieties of birds to our garden. I've always had trouble getting bluebirds to nest on our property but adding a bird bath close to a bird house seemed to be the key. 
Since these beautiful birds eat grasshoppers and beetles, I want to do everything I can to keep them happy in our garden. Tip number five is to avoid the use of pesticides. Do everything you can to protect the birds who visit your garden by avoiding the use of chemical insecticides and herbicides. Instead, let the birds do the bad bug eating for you and enjoy their presence as you work together to tend the land. Well, there are my five tips on how to attract more birds to your garden. Now that we've taken all of these steps, we can sit back, relax, and enjoy the presence of our beautiful winged friends and the beautiful songs that they make. If you found this video helpful, please like, leave a comment, and share it with a friend. And consider subscribing to my channel for more flower farming fun. Until next time, happy gardening. Bye!